can't sustain a system that bleeds billions of taxpayer dollars on programs that have outlived their usefulness or exist solely because of the power of politicians, lobbyists, or interest groups. We simply can't afford it. He's not in office yet, but striking a take charge tone. That's President elect Barack Obama today, vowing to stop government waste and to start finding ways to make it happen. He singled out one notorious program that gives farm subsidies to rich Americans, many of them are millionaires, and they don't make their money by working the land. 360's Joe Johns is keeping them honest tonight. Farm subsidies that come straight out of the pocketbooks of U.S. taxpayers like you are being funneled into the bank accounts of millionaires living overseas in exotic locales like Hong Kong and Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom, says a report by the Government Accountability Office. Now, the law says that if you're lucky enough to rake in more than $2.5 million a year, you don't need farm subsidies. But that report says more than 2,700 millionaires who, you guessed it, exceeded the income cap got nearly $50 million anyway between 2003 and 2006. The government says it can't release the names because the law keeps the records private. But some people getting the money don't sound like your average family farmers outstanding in their fields. The report says only that the part owner of a sports team got 200 grand, a former insurance executive got 300 grand, a top financial executive got $60,000. If there's some reasonable explanation for why folks like this got paid like they did, no one's been able to come up with it. Though this guy who'll be stuck with stuff like this is already asking questions about it. Now, this is true, and this was just a report this morning, but if it's true, it is a prime example of the kind of waste that I intend to end as president. When we asked why this is allowed to happen, the U.S. Department of Agriculture put out a statement saying the same thing the GAO did. USDA bureaucrats aren't allowed to go rummaging around in people's IRS records the way auditors do. So they asked GAO to cough up the names of the alleged offenders. Which means your government knows what's causing the problem but says it still can't fix it. And a watchdog group that's been hounding the agriculture department for years over farm subsidies says the government regulators are part of the problem. There's a, a bias down there in every aspect of USDA's operations. Uh, to let the big guys off the hook, to look the other way, to assume that the big, large, well-funded, wealthy operators are the successful ones and they're deserving of even more government subsidy. Whatever the case, the new report at least put farm subsidies on the president-elect's radar screen as one example of the change many say this country needs. Joe John, CNN, New York. Awaiting the verdict of the MySpace